Hi, this is Mir Kosasek from Bintel.com. In this short video, I'm going to show you how Olap works. So here we have a Cognos PowerPlay program showing us data of the company called Great Outdoors Company. It is sales data that show us sales performance uh, across a few years. In the core of PowerPlay, there is so-called dimension bar that contains the whole package of data available to us. The last item of the dimension bar contains uh, so-called measures or indicators that are numerical values. Uh, for example, uh, in our case, it can be uh, things like uh, uh, actual revenue, planned revenue, product cost, gross margin, gross profit, and quantity sold. Now we can analyze these uh, numerical measures by different dimensions. For example, uh, we can uh, uh, view actual revenue by years, by products, here are product lines, uh, and on lower level there are also product types and products. Then according uh, the geographical uh, sales channels, again we can see actual revenue according uh, different retailers we sell the products to. And also we have order methods here. Uh, these items are called dimensions and therefore it is called multi-dimensional analysis because we have one, two, three, four, five dimensions. There are a few basic uh, techniques or methods uh, to analyze all up data. First of them is so-called drill down. And what drill down means? Here we have uh, sales data of, divided by product lines in the course of all the years. We switch to year 2006, that is our last year in this data. And here we can see that camping equipment is the major driver of our sales. It is more than half of all the sales in 2006. Then there is also mountaineering equipment, personal accessories, and golf equipment. Well, so our focus now is on the camping equipment that is more than half of all the sales uh, in terms of uh, actual revenue. Uh, what product types are mostly sold in camping equipment? Here we will use so-called drill down with double click. I will drill down into the camping equipment. Here on uh, dimension bar you can see that we are looking for camping equipment, not, not uh, all the products as before. And here we can see that there, is, there are tents that is also the driver of camping equipment, which is, which is again most of the half of uh, the sales. So we can drill down again into tents. And here we can see four major uh, tent types. Stardome, Stargazer 2, Stargazer 3, Stargazer 6. So these are four most important products uh, we have. Now we can be interested in, uh, in retailer's performance, which retailer sells the most of our uh, most important products. Here we will use the second technique called slicing and dicing. So I will drag retailers into the chart. And here we can see that the most important for tents are outdoor shop. When we drill down, we can see 
that Falcon Outfitters is the most important client of ours. Let's look now what margin we get from them. Yes, it is. I will drag this here. 19% of uh, gross margin. Well, we see that the margin varies from about 17 to 22 percent. And Falcon Outfitters is a very good client because it is it generates our medium margin, but uh, with the most important products and the very very large uh, volume. Now let's go one step back. Let's see again sales volume. And when we drill down in uh, Falcon Outfitters, we will see uh, that uh, they are selling our tents uh, mainly in Montreal. The third method is uh, changing mode of view. We can view the data not only in pie charts, as here, but we can also change uh, displays to tables or three-dimensional bar chart, classical bar chart, other types of bar charts, and also line charts. We can also combine the displays uh, holding control button and clicking on the chart we now can see both pie chart and the table so as you can see with few clicks uh, and uh, in a few minutes we learned which are our most important products and most important clients so uh, th this is all up Drill down, slicing and dicing and changing views. Let's uh, analyze the data quickly and easily. Thank you for watching.